Hello, my name is Carl. My call sign is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango, and in this short video, I just want to give an update on the LoRa radio and some ideas around how we can use LoRa in the ham radio hobby. I think if you're a one of those ham operators that enjoys doing a bit of coding, a little bit, a little bit of programming, like to I'd like the idea of making, you know, constructing these type, types of devices, working with the low power, as the um, data over RF, data formats, mode, data modes, digital modes. If you're into that aspect of the hobby, then I think the LoRa, the LoRa uh, boards are a, a very interesting, um, an interesting avenue to explore. And my my hope is to be able to integrate the LoRa, the LoRa, more into my amateur radio work. And one of the projects that I'm hoping to uh, to work on is this idea of having one of these de these devices out in the field, um, <clears throat> having one of these devices out in the field, maybe remotely, sending data from one device to another. And then the hope is then once I can get the data from one to another is then to send that out on APRS. Even though it's just a hobby, it's only a project idea. It's not, not anything serious. I just I just think that being able to um, understand and work with the LoRa system and connect that into the ham radio um, networks, I think is quite an interesting uh, project for me to work on. So. Uh, I've had this now for just over a week. I did a quick update when I first got the got these devices. I've got two of them. I've now managed to get the some code working on them. So what I've discovered with these is to find a library that actually works with a lower device. I use the chip number, so RF ninety five ninety six ninety seven chip. There's also an X. SX108 so there's two pretty dominant types of chips that you can get on these lower shields I've managed to get the the equivalent of the a demo the hello world code working so I had two devices talking peer-to-peer -peer. Uh, so I got that working and then what I did with that with the help of two work colleagues we managed to get APRS data from APRS into the LoRa and then transmitted to the other LoRa what I'd like to do, and this is probably more practical, is to have one of these devices out in the field somewhere collecting data. It might be collecting data on uh, sensor data, it might be equipment data, it might be emergency um, types of information that are required to be shared. And I want to beam that from um, from that device into this one, and then I want eventually I want to run uh, something like APRX or Direwolf or one of those APRS um, programs and I want them to transmit that APRS packet through um, a radio and then also through the internet. The The chip on, on this, this device is a 433 megahertz a chip you can get 868 and in the UK we have uh, we have two two bands that are available so you are allowed very low power uh, radio transmissions within 433 megahertz as a as a licensed um, ham operator in the UK you've also got access to uh, a wider portion of the 70 centimeter band but this is on 433 you you can actually have two chips on here you can put a 868 and have a dual band antenna and then you can work on uh, both bands then so that's where I am at the moment I've got them working got the demo code working I've gone to the next stage now I can get uh, internet uh, information from the internet uh, in into the LoRa system my next move now is to get uh, uh, data and sensor data from the LoRa system back into either the uh, internet or even to uh, APRS. So that's where I am. So I hope you found this short video useful. Uh, please can you like and subscribe. Uh, comments are always welcome. If you've got 
project ideas with the LoRa devices please add some um, uh, comments in below it'll be good to see what others are doing with these devices so thank you for watching bye bye for now